Here with Bellator lightweight fighter Syed Awad. Uh, Syed, uh, Friday night, congratulations. Big win over Nick Sableton. Thank you. Uh, you know, wasn't that, I mean, of course, every fight's hard, but, but you got in and out of there pretty quick. Tell us how the fight went. Was it uh, pretty much go the way you expected? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't want to sound cocky, but um, it, went, it went quick. You know, I dropped him early. I ended up getting a submission, and that's what I, I really wanted to do because I've been working a lot on my jiu-jitsu. So, uh, you know, it showed him during my fight. Well, tell us about the, the, the finish there. Look at you. You're trying to go for guillotine, couldn't get it, went for the neck crank instead. Uh, you know, just tell us about the finish. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake with my guillotine. You know, I allowed him to grab my leg, so I uh, ended up scrambling a little bit. I uh, had him in the rear naked, couldn't get it under his chin, so I just turned it into a, a neck crank and uh, finished it from there. Uh, you know, being in a tournament, always one of the keys is trying to, to avoid as much damage as possible. You managed to do that. Don't look like you're marked up too bad. Um, you know, you know, how nice is that to get out of a fight without, without really taking any damage? Yeah, especially with the, the way the tournament is, you know, you fight once a month. So it, it's awesome to be able to come back and, you know, today's Monday. I fought on Friday and I'm, I'm back in the training camp and uh, with no, no bumps or bruises so I can just keep working straight through without taking time off. So your next opponent, you said October 25th, we're going to see you back in the, in the cage. Tell us, uh, Will Brooks, the guy you've already been in there with, you defeated him before. How is it different? going into a fight with a guy you've already fought before? Um, believe it or not, you know, a lot of people, you know, keep telling me, oh, you have, you know, win over him, you know, you, you know, should be, you know, have it again or whatever. You know, I'm not looking at it that way. I'm looking at it as, you know, I have another opponent, you know, uh, whether I have a win or a loss over him, I'm still coming in, training, you know, my ass off, and, you know, I'm going to be ready for it. Now, he's someone that's, that's fairly new to the game. He's, he's getting better each time out. Um, how do you expect that he will have improved since the last time you fought him? Um, I mean, he looked good against John Alessio, you know, and uh, uh, he looked like he's improving every time, so uh, we'll see. You know, I mean, I, I thought I fought the uh, best Will Brooks last time, and hopefully I fight the best Will Brooks this time so I can, you know, put it down and then pop in. Do you feel that, that Will Brooks is kind of someone Bellator is really getting behind and building, you know, even though you beat him the first time, do you feel that he's someone that they're kind of building as one of their future stars? I mean, uh, you, you watch the show, you know, I'll, I'll let you make your, your opinion on it, you know. I mean, he just, you know, you know, he does have a lot of airtime with Bellator, you know what I mean? And he, uh, but, uh, you know, he has a good record, he's a good fighter, so you know, I don't see why they wouldn't pump him up. Well, we'll dance around that. How how motivating is it for you to to go against somebody that, that you, that, you know, maybe is being hyped up as a, as a future star? You know, I'm a fighter, you know what I mean? I want to fight the best talent there is, and the way the Bellator tournament is set up, you know, you do fight somebody coming off of a win, and, you know, he does have a lot of hype behind him. You know, he had a lot of hype behind him last time I fought him. He has a lot of hype behind him this time I fought him. So it's going to be good to fight him again and, uh, you know, really you know, in this. Now, I won't ask you who you will fight in the finals because I know you don't want to look ahead, but on the other bracket, you have Tiger against... Uh, uh, Trelawney. Yeah, Trelawney, I'm sorry. Um, who do you favor in that fight? Uh... I'm not gonna say I favor either one of them. They're both really good fighters. You know, Tiger is really uh, has crisp stand up, and Trelawney has you know, really good jiu jitsu, and, and he's a brawler. So you never know with those guys. You know, one punch can change the whole fight. Were you surprised at any of the of the, the quarterfinals there? How they turned out, or did they pretty much go the way you expected? Um, kind of. You know, what I mean, uh, I mean the uh, Trelawney and uh, and uh, uh, oh, Clemente. Clemente, yeah. Uh, that fight, I thought it was going to go either way. You know, they're both really good fighters, and, uh, you know, it went to I think, a unanimous decision. I thought it would at least be a split, but, you know, it could have went any way, either way, so I wasn't too surprised about it. Now, Alessio was, a, was an underdog going to the fight, but were you surprised at, at pretty much how much Will Brooks was able to dominate that fight? Um, kind of, because, you know, Will, uh, uh, Alessio, you know, he's a veteran, and, you know, I mean, sometimes he's on, sometimes he's off, and it seemed like he was kind of off that day. You know, if he was on, I think it would have been a different fight. But, um, you know, I mean, it, it didn't look like he could, you know, really turn that switch on. Did you get to see that cut up close and personal, and was that one of the nastier things you've ever seen? Uh, yeah, it was, it was, he got a pretty bad cut, you know, pretty bad cut. He's got some nice stitches in it. All right. So now you got just a few weeks before your fight. You're, you're here in Vegas. Uh, what are you doing back here at Mayweather Boxing Club? Uh, over here getting my hands done, man. I'm, I'm about to, uh, Working with this guy a little bit? Uh, yeah, I'm about to get in there with him a little bit after this. And, uh, you know, I'm at the, the, the best boxing gym in the world. You know, this is where the best boxers come from. The best boxers came from or come from. And this is where the best boxers are coming from. So, you know, to be the best, you got to work with the best. And, yeah, and uh, I want to be the best. So, yeah, I'll 
get my left out ladder pretty soon. Right, and so in the next three weeks, what, what else is on the agenda for you as far as training goes? Uh, I have a couple of different things on my mind. You know, I might, I might go out to Colorado for a little bit and train, and then uh, I might stay over here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to chill here for the next week, for this week, and, you know, really sharpen up on my boxing and get in there with some wrestling with uh, Mo and the guys, and, you know, go from there. We'll see you again in the cage in just a few weeks. Uh, just final words, just predictions on how that fight with you and, and Brooks are going to go. Uh, I definitely see my hand raised. Uh, I don't know how it's going to have happen, but I, I just see my hand getting raised at the end of that fight. You know, I'm too, I'm too motivated, too determined, and, uh, and uh, I'm coming for that fight. All right, man. Best of luck. I appreciate right, it. Thank you.